This is a new video to show you how to log in and register to BBO because BBO have improved the process and I'll also show you the first couple of things you should do when you uh, log in. So this is the bridgebase.com home page. Uh, apart from login and register on the top right in red, which we're going to use, uh, there's view graph if you want to use it uh, free without registering. Uh, you can't chat to your friends though, so that's why I recommend registering. Hand records is so you can find out all everything that you did on BBO on the web rather than within the BBO client itself. And so we'll click login and register and up comes the client page. And if you've never registered, you want to become a member. So we'll click on that and you need to choose a username. Uh, it will check what is available. Paul G isn't, that's me. Paul G42 probably is. Uh, just choose any username you want. It is case insensitive. Capital letters don't matter. Don't use special characters like underscore or the at symbol, but you can use letters. You can use spaces, but I don't recommend it. People tend to misspell your name if you're playing in matches and things. Password, uh, just choose a password. Type in the same password again. And this is the new bit. You need to put in an email address and BBO, before you can log in, will send you an email to verify the address uh, like you do for many other online services. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, it stops them being spammed by robots, and it also means you'll be able to recover your password, which uh, people who've been on BBO for some considerable time cannot do. Uh, you don't have to put in a skill level. That's personal self-ranking. You don't need to put in a country. That's up to you. Uh, your real name, that will be exposed on BBO, so you might want to use it, you might not. Uh, ACBL number, if you're going to play in ACBL games and you want your master points credited. Other is any other information you want to put on, and people will often put on, I play ACOL, I play Standard American, I like 2 over 1, things like that. Read the terms of service, uh, and if you agree to them, click on agree, and the register button will light up when you put in all the other required information. So your password, confirm the password and your email address, and then you can register. And that's all there is to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to register a new account. They've got enough, say is. Uh, I'm going to log in with my regular account. Uh, I'm Paul G. And the first thing that I recommend people do, especially from my club, is to go to the friend the people tab and add me as a friend so go to the bottom type in paul g and click add obviously i can't add myself so i've got some friends online at the moment and if i click on their name i can see where, where they're from, all the information they've published, and what they're doing at the moment. If I want to join their table, I just click on the Join button. And it takes me to their table, and I can watch what's going on. I can also chat to them. So Dee is a friend who used to live in Scotland. He's now in Melbourne, Australia. And I can chat to him just by, in the message field of his profile, clicking Good Morning. And hopefully... He will not say anything rude back. And you can see in the chat window down here, it says, hi, D. Uh, and then, actually, I can message in a chat window down here. So I can go jump in D. And now I don't need to bring up his profile. I can just chat to him. And that's all there is to it. That's what I recommend. You can then go and find people. The more friends you have, the easier it is to chat. Uh, and you can find where they are. Enjoy.